What does it take to be a successful manager in engineering from the beginning of your term as a manager? In this week's Engineering Management Lessons video, I have with me Kevin Riggs, President and CEO of Cole Design Group. Kevin has had a tremendously successful career as the owner of a civil engineering company, and he's been a manager at every different level. And Kevin, in this engineering management lessons video, I need you to answer a question that I get all the time from young, less experienced engineering managers. They've just gotten promoted. Hey, now you're a manager. What are some things that they should do right out of the gate to develop their management skills? Uh, start with trust, and that means trust yourself and trust the people who've been assigned to you. Um, and learn your skill set and understand the people working with you, their skill set, and know the gaps and the overlaps, and celebrate the gaps and the overlaps, and acknowledge them so that you can either close the gaps or not be stepping on top of each other on the overlap. If you can do that sooner than later with each one of the people in your team, I think that'll get you there quicker. That's great. Yeah, because I do think that a lot of times, especially younger managers, they're operating somewhat in a bubble, meaning they're looking at everyone individually, but not kind of putting it together collectively as a team. And to your point, recognizing where there are gaps in the team and where there are overlaps in the team, and then focusing people appropriately. And just by taking that one step, I think in terms of a manager, you can go from being a, you know an average manager to becoming a really great manager. So Kevin, thanks for a few minutes with that one. Really appreciate it. My pleasure.